Hello, how to solve for x and y in this equation, x squared minus y squared is equal to 130, where x and y are member of natural number. Solution. We have... We have s square minus y square is equal to 130. Then take note of this that if you have a square minus b square, this is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b. Then where a is equal to x and b equal to y. This can be written as x plus y bracket x minus y is equal to 130. Now from here, x plus y is greater than x minus y then therefore this x plus y is greater than this so we look for the product of 130 130 is a product of 1 multiplied by 130 then 130 multiply by 1 also 2 multiply by 65 then 65 multiply by 2 also 5 multiply by 26 26 multiply by 5 then 10 multiply by 13 and 13 multiply by 10 then from here the rules is s plus y is greater than x minus y then 1 is less than 130 this is out 130 is greater than 1 this is true. 2 is less than 65. This is cancel out. Then 65 is greater than 2. This is true. 5 is less than 26. This is cancel out. 26 is greater than 5. This is true and we accept it. 10 is less than 13. This is cancel out. And 30 is greater than 10. This is accepted. We have how many cases now? 1 two three four we have four cases therefore our equation become x plus y bracket x minus y equal to 130 multiplied by one let's call this first case then this can be written as s plus y is equal to 130. Let's call this equation 1. And x minus y equal to 1. Let's call this equation 2. Now, second case. Second case. This is x plus y bracket x minus y is equal to what is the second case 65 multiplied by 2 then the equation is s plus y is equal to 65 let's call this equation 1 
x minus y is equal to 2. Let's call this equation 2. Now, let's consider the third case. The third case is x plus y bracket x minus y is equal to what is the third case? We have 26 multiplied by 5. Now, x plus y is equal to 26. Equation 1. x minus y is equal to 5. This is equation 2. Now, let's consider the fourth case. The fourth case is s plus y bracket x minus y is equal to what is the fourth case we have 13 and 10 13 multiplied by 10 then the equation is s plus y is equal to 13 let's call this equation 1 and x minus y is equal to 10. Let's call this equation 2. Then we'll be able to form four different simultaneous equations. This is the fourth, this is the third, and this is second, and this is the first case. Then we can solve all these equations using elimination method. If you want to use substitution method, it may take a lot of time, but let's quickly use elimination method to solve this simultaneous equation and get our answer. Now, let us consider the first case. From first case, s plus y is equal to 130. This is our equation 1. Then, x minus y is equal to 1. This is equation 2. Let's solve this simultaneously using the elimination method by adding the two equations together. If you add this together, s plus x this is 2x then plus y minus y this will cancel out 130 plus 1 this is equal to 131 now let's divide both sides by 2 because we are looking for the value of s this divided by 2 divided by 2 this will cancel this x is equal to 131 divided by 2 and if you look at this this is not a natural number not a natural number therefore it is rejected because we are looking for natural number. Now we've got the value of x. Let's see if y is going to be the natural number. We can solve for y using either equation 1 or 2, but I'm going to make use of this equation 2. To solve for y, we have x minus y is equal to 1. When x is 131 divided by 2, then we have 131 divided by 2 minus y is equal to 1. Let's multiply all through by 2. In order to eliminate these two, we have 131 minus 2y is equal to 2. Then here, minus 2y is equal to 2 minus 131. Then minus 2y is equal to minus 129. Let's divide both sides by minus 2 divided by minus 2 divided by minus 2. This will cancel this. Then the negative will cancel negative. y is equal to 129 divided by 2. 
and of course this is not a natural number it is rejected <laughs> Now let's check from the second case. That is from second case. The second case is x plus y is equal to 65. This is equation one. Then x minus y is equal to two. This is equation two. We can solve this simultaneously by elimination method. S plus S, 2X. This we cancel this is equal to 65 plus 2, that is 67. Now let's divide both sides by 2. This divided by 2. This we cancel this. Then S is equal to 67 divided by 2. And of course, this is not a natural number. It is also rejected. Now, let's solve for y here using either 1 or 2. So, but I'm going to make use of this equation too. To solve for y, we have x minus y is equal to 2. When x is 67 divided by 2, we have 67 over 2 minus y is equal to 2. If you multiply all through by 2, we have 67 minus 2y is equal to 4. Then minus 2y is equal to 4 minus 67. Minus 2y is equal to minus 63. Then y is equal to 63 over 2 and this is also rejected it's not a natural number let's consider the third case from third case we have x plus y is equal to 26 then x minus y is equal to 5 Let's solve using the elimination method by adding the two equations together. x plus s, this is 2x, this we cancel this, is equal to 26 plus 5, this is 31. Then we can divide both sides by 2, divided by 2, this we cancel this, x is equal to 31 over 2. And of course, this is not a natural number. It is rejected also. Now, let's solve for y using equation 2. It's equal, S minus y is equal to 5. We may also use this equation 1, but I'm going to make use of this equation 2. To solve for y, then s minus y is equal to 5. When s is 31 over 2, we have 31 over 2 minus y is equal to 5. Then here is, if you multiply all through by 2, we have 31 minus 2y is equal to 10. Minus 2y is equal to 10 minus 31. Then minus 2y is equal to 21, minus 21. Now, divide both sides by minus 2, divided by minus 2, y is equal to 21 over 2. This is not a natural number. It is also rejected. Let's consider the fourth case. From the fourth case, we have x plus y equal to 13 this is equation one and then x minus y is equal to 10 this is equation two let's solve it together using elimination method s plus s this is 2x 
this will cancel this 10 plus 13 that is equal to 23 then we divide both sides by 2 divided by 2 this will cancel this s is equal to 23 over 2 and this is not a natural number it is rejected now let's solve for y and c to solve for y then let's make use of this equation 2 again we have x minus y equal to 10 when s is 23 over 2 we have 23 over 2 minus y equal to 10 if you multiply all through by 2 we have 23 minus 2y is equal to 20 then minus 2y is equal to 20 minus 23 now minus 2y is equal to minus 3 y is equal to 3 over 2 and of course this is not a natural number it is also rejected now therefore our final answers are from the first case we have s comma y is equal to 1 3 1 over 2 comma 129 over 2 then from the second case s comma y is equal to 67 over 2 comma 63 over 2 then from the third case from the third case the solution is s comma y is equal to 31 over 2 comma 21 over 2 then the fourth case is s comma y is equal to 23 over 2 comma 3 over 2 we can see that from both first second third and fourth solutions there is no natural number so therefore we conclude that no solution i hope you enjoyed the video Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye.